How's it going everybody? This is Cameron White with White Light Astrology, giving you guys your weekly forecast of what the heck is going on in the universe. So, today is beautiful Monday. Um, I don't know about you guys, I love Mondays. It's also, I was born on a Monday too, so that kind of helps. Um, we got a full, we're not a full moon. <laughs> we got a new moon today. It is feeling great. Um, the moon's gonna be going into Aries, we just went over to Aries uh, earlier this morning. It's gonna be going over Venus. Uh, as it's going over Venus, this is going to be taking a big look at relationships. And with this whole Venus in retrograde, while Saturn's squaring it, it's kind of like we can have these self-imposed limits on our relationships, whether you have a partner or you're single right now. However, you can have these self-imposed limits that you think are, you know, oh, I can't have this, oh, I can't do that because of X, Y, and Z. While this uh, new moon is going over that, this is a big opportunity to let go of all those limits because the truth is we live in an abundant universe. We live in a very limitless universe. The universe does not give us anything that we don't have an, an extra supply of. And when it comes to relationships and it comes to what you want and what you want to achieve or how you and your partner are doing, don't set your guys, don't set limits up for yourself. Don't do that. Don't go, go into it thinking, you know, I want the best for both of us. Or, you know, if you're single, like, you know, I want whatever it is that I want. Don't be afraid to ask the universe for what you want. The universe will give it to you. You just gotta be smart about what you ask for. And as the moon's going over, it's going to be a big time to reset this energy towards it, you know, being able to let go of, you know, certain, um, not only limitations, but expectations as well. You know, things don't always have to look the way that you want them to in order for it to work out in your best uh, interest. And then that's basically what's going on today is just this new moon. It's a good time to reset this energy because with Saturn squaring the sun and Venus and the moon, it's like... You can feel all these restrictions and limits like, oh, I can't push myself past these. I can't go over this. But in reality, you have to be able to take a stand and say, all right, like, if this is what I really want, this is what I'm really going after. I got to be able to take a stand and be able to move forward with it. And it's going to feel like you got chains on you, but these chains aren't attached to anything. They're just chains. You know, like, um, it's kind of like if a dog... Um, Let's imagine like one of these posts right here. If a dog's all chained up to one, he's going to think, you know, like, oh, I'm not going to be able to go out any farther. Imagine you're that dog and you got the chain, but it's not connected to the pole. You got places to go. You got things to go do. You have, you got your whole life to explore. And that's what this, I mean, this is the first new moon in the first, uh, in like the beginning of the year for the zodiacal year now that we're in uh, Aries season. So this is a great opportunity to let yourself be yourself and stop holding back on what you want and what you want to get. Saturn's teaching us in, in Sagittarius, it's wanting us to push farther and go bigger and stop holding all these excuses. It's in Sagittarius, it's time to go. It's time to see what our beliefs are. And it's showing us what our limits are and it's time to break those limits. Um, so that's basically what's going to be going on today on Monday. It's just a really good day just to set some energy. We're going into a great week. I am very excited for this week because all this Pisces stuff in the past week, it's just been kind of like, eh, and now it's like, yay. Um, <laughs> so Tuesday, sun stops scoring Saturn. Thank God. Those restrictions and those limits that we were talking about, they ain't going to be there anymore. It's going to be like a big breath of fresh air. You're going to be like, oh, finally, like, I don't have to, I don't feel like I am in my own way. I don't feel like I'm the one stopping myself. I feel like I can go and achieve what I want to. And that's, that, that's going to be amazing. So I'm excited for Tuesday. We got Sun, Venus, Moon, Uranus, Mercury, all conjunct in Aries. It is all about you right now. It is all about what do you want? What do you want to put yourself first? With Uranus right there, it's going to be big ups and downs. With Mercury right there, you're going to be communicating. You're going to be seeing a big reflection of yourself. With Mercury and Aries, every time you talk to someone, it's just a bigger and bigger reflection of who you really are and what you're really going through. So don't be afraid to talk. You know, Speak about yourself. Speak about what you're going through, what your dreams and ambitions are. And you'll be really surprised on how that's reflected to other people too when they start talking about themselves as well um and with the moon it'll be on tuesday going in between the sun and uranus it'll be kind of an interesting time and then when this uh, moon goes over uranus be um i don't want to say like be careful because it's not going to be extremely bad or anything like that just be really cautious um with the moon going over uranus could be a lot of ups and downs like oh i can't do it oh i can't do it oh i'm am capable oh everyone hates me all that kind of stuff so really watch your um like your footing Really watch where you're putting yourself with there and just be in control of your emotions. Be very conscious this week. It's a very good, this week has a lot of opportunities to really get you ahead for the next coming weeks. So just be really conscious of your own energy and where you're putting it to. 
Um, and then the moon will start to oppose Jupiter. This is going back to when we were just talking about how we're going to set our, put ourselves first and all these other things. As it opposes Jupiter, it's going to be a look at, okay, if me putting myself first, how's that going to involve my relationships with other people? And how's that going to revolve my relationship with myself? So let's say, you know, you put yourself first and you're all gung-ho and all ego-oriented. Other people aren't really going to like you. You got to put your higher self first, not your ego, not, you know, like, oh, uh, I, I mean, you guys know what your ego is. It's basically your bullshit. What you think you know, what you think you believe in, what you think is right about you. <coughs> Excuse me. You got to put all that shit to the side. You got to really put your higher self first. This is where all this energy is going. And then when it opposes Jupiter, it's going to be a big look at what the relationships and how that um, affects them. It's going to either be, you know, like, a, okay, I can manage the balance of this, of putting myself first, my higher self first, and still being able to work with all the people that I have, as well as the relationship with yourself. Um, with the moon opposing Jupiter, it's like, okay, what are my emotions with myself and how, is, how does that reflect the relationship with myself? Are my emotions healthy? Am I putting myself first? Am I really not putting limits on myself? Am I restricting myself of anything that I want? Am I restricting myself with any relationship that I want? Um, and with, and then the moon's also going to be squaring Pluto too. So it's going to be a little, um, what's the best word for this? It's going to be a little like hard headed. You, you could definitely feel a little bit hard headed. Definitely very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very, um, uncomfortable. Uh, that's not the word. Very, uh, Nah, you're just not going to want to do it. So with the square in Pluto, let yourself break through these limitations. Let yourself change your mind about yourself. Let yourself go through these emotions. With it squaring Pluto and opposing Jupiter, it's going to be a big whirlwind of change. Let yourself be in it. It's kind of like when you're in the ocean and you get sucked into, what is it, like the riptide or something like that? The, uh, you know, when you go in the ocean, all of a sudden you're like a mile away from where you started. It's not, you know, you can't, hold, or no, the tide, I should say, um, don't fight the tide. Go with it. It'll suck you. It'll suck you in, but it'll push you right back out. Rather than if you're trying to fight it, you're just gonna get stuck in this whirlpool the whole time. So go with the flow of things. Let yourself change. Let yourself change your beliefs. Let yourself experience the emotions. That's what they're there for. That's the beauty of astrology. It's there for you to experience. Um, going into Wednesday, Moon is gonna go over Uranus and Mercury. This is again talking about going ups and downs with these emotions. Going a little bit extreme with it. Now that it's in Aries, it's like. Aries is really extreme, really intense. I, and like, you know, out of all the fire signs, like Leo can be kind of intense and Sagittarius can be really intense, but Aries is like right in your face. It's like right there. It's time for you to go. So let yourself ride this roller coaster of ups and downs. Take it on and experience it and make sure you know where you're going. It's kind of like, um, if you're going to go on a roller coaster, you might as well have fun with it, right? Rather than if you're just going to sit in your chair for those 90 seconds in disbelief and in anger and in, you know, scarcity or uh, not scarcity but like you're just scared to go on it the whole time that's not going to be fun ride it have fun with it enjoy it see where it takes you and with this going over uh mercury as well this is still going to be opposing jupiter be very careful about like, what what you're actually communicating to people are you putting your higher self first or are you putting your ego first are you really being relationship oriented or are you you know being ego oriented you just be very wary of how you're communicating and how you're talking to yourself as well mercury is all about internal dialogue and you know, people be like, oh, I don't talk to myself all day long, but hey, let's be honest, everyone talks to themselves all day long. So with your internal dialogue, keep putting your higher self first. Keep challenging yourself. Keep pushing yourself. And with these relationships with it, square, with it opposing Jupiter, don't let what other people fucking say challenge you and, like, put you down. Use that as, um, what's the word? God, I'm so lost for words right now. Um, however, bah. I cannot think of the word. Anyway, as it goes over Mercury, put yourself first, but make sure it's putting your higher self and not your ego or anything like that. Um, and then Mercury, Uranus, and the moon will try and Saturn. That is very good news. As it's trining Saturn, that's going to be that whole, what we were talking about as far as um, limitations uh, with the square in the sun today and not until uh, just today and then tomorrow will stop squaring the sun. However, when Saturn squares, it's showing us like, all right, what are our limits? What can we not do? What are our restrictions? And it's time to push past those. And as it's time to push past those with uh, Mercury, Uranus, and the moon shining, uh, shining Saturn, it's time to really let go of it and move forward. As it's shining, Saturn's like, yeah, bro, like move forward, go ahead. Like, it's in Sagittarius. It's time to travel. It's time to expand your thoughts. It's time to expand your beliefs about what you think you know and 
how far can you take yourself? It's kind of like, you know, if you're taking a road trip with a bunch of friends and you have no destination, you're just going to go and you just got to see how far you go with it. And if you really want to go, you really want to go somewhere in your life and you're willing to take it, use this opportunity to put your emotions, get that emotional involvement in there, make it real. Um, that's what this week's really going to be about is making it real. And as, and then on Wednesday, the moon will be going into Taurus. Woo. Um, that's going to be like, that could be, that could play out a few different ways. So this week, if you're, you know, in your shit and you're feeling all these restrictions and these blocks, Moon and Taurus ain't going to help you out. Sorry. Moon and Taurus is just going to make you feel frustrated. It's going to make you feel very insecure. It's going to make you feel very, uh, just very stubborn. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Stubborn. Um, so practice this, put yourself first, put your higher self first, take off the restrictions, take off the limits. It's time to move forward. It's time to move ahead and really put the belief in there, put the emotional involvement. And as the moon goes in Taurus, as it's, and it'll be conjuncting Mars too, dude, shit's going to get real. Like it's going to actually start to manifest. That's what I love about Taurus energy. It's like, man, if you want shit to manifest, wait till something goes into Taurus because the shit will be going ahead and moving on and coming into your life. Um, it may be slow, but it's that slow, steady, uh, pace that's going to get you where you want to be. You know, things can happen overnight, but you would probably prefer to work for it and grow with it. And then, you know, really challenge yourself to make sure you can actually get it. Thursday, the sun will oppose Jupiter. This will just be the beginning of it. We'll just, it'll just barely start to. However, with the sun opposed Jupiter, that's going to be the big, you know, okay, you know, I got all these people, I got all these relationships, and especially with yourself too, I have all these relationships that are saying this, this, that, and the other, while I need to put myself first and I don't know what to do. With that going on, this is going to be the biggest, I think, in my opinion, the hardest transit going on this week is with the sun opposed Jupiter, it's gonna be like, ah, oh, like I feel like I don't have any good luck with anything going on. I feel like I don't have the energy to put myself first and I gotta still worry about other people. And this is, when you have anything opposing each other, it's all about the balance. You can't take both sides, especially with Aries and Libra. You got Aries that rules the face, it rules the number one, it's the, it's the first sign of the zodiac. And then you got Libra, it rules two, it rules relationships, all this kind of stuff. You have to find the balance of, Putting yourself first, making sure that you're taken care of, that you're ahead of the game, that you are where you need to be, and then worrying about what other people have to say, what other people are thinking about you. And if you're letting what other people say and think about you hold you back, you're never going to get what you want. You're ne uh, looking for outside validation is never going to get you anywhere in life. So stop it. Put yourself first. Say, fuck all those people. Even though, you know, you can, you can love them. They can be your best friends. They can be your family. Still give them that love and that space, but don't let their words affect you. This is your time. This is time for you to grow. And in and inspire that through other people too, especially the people that are holding you back. Inspire them to grow. Inspire them to change, especially with Mercury and Aries. Um, so yeah, then Pluto will start to square the sun as well. This is when we're going to start seeing that change happen as far as like us putting this intention right now of us going forward with our lives and moving ahead. As the sun starts to square Pluto, that's where it's going to be like, all right, we as beings are going to be changing. We are changing the way that we present ourselves. We are changing our natural essence, our vibration, our frequency. Um, and like I said, you just go along with this ride. You're going to be changing this week. You're going to be going through stuff this week. Experience it, man. That's what it's there for. Like, don't fight it. Have fun with it and trust the process. The universe is all about love and it's all about abundance. There's, that's the only really two things in this universe is love and abundance. So accept that and go, okay, I have love for myself and I can be more than who I am right now and let that experience change. And with it squaring Pluto, it's going to be big changes. It's going to be ground shaking changes, but just go with it. Have fun with it. Experience it. Don't let all these mundane bullshit stuff that gets in your way every day that you think are limits affect you because they're not. If you really have the intention to go out and do what, whatever it is that you need to do or say that you need to do or say what that you want to do, you're going to do it. You just have to have the intention there. Um, so then moon will be conjuncting Mars. It will be trining Pluto and sextiling Neptune. That is what we're waiting for. Thursday is what we're waiting for. As it's conjuncting Mars, it's going to be like, yes, I'm getting my shit done. Things are coming into my life. I'm feeling better about my emotions. It's going to be trining Pluto. Pluto's going, all right, you've done the work. You've been changing. As long as you've been changing your emotions, you've been changing the way that you've, and I mean, I don't mean just change like, oh, you know, I'm thinking this way and I'll maybe think something else. I mean, Pluto's deep as fuck. Pluto is wanting you to really, really purge out all the shit that you thought you were stable on. As it's in Capricorn, 
this foundation that you set for yourself a long time ago, it's time to change that. It's time to build a new building. It's kind of like, you know, if you own, if you're a billion dollar corporation, you got a building from, you know, 1930s. It's like, well, fuck that shit. I got to change something new and it's not going to be easy. I mean, you're talking about a building. You're talking about a skyscraper. We got to change. As long as you put that change there, Moon and Taurus is going to bless you with things. Taurus loves to give people things. Taurus loves to take care of people. Taurus is a big giver. It's just a big teddy bear. Like That's why I think Taurus rising people are really funny. Because they come off so hardcore. And they're super like, whoa, like you're intimidating. And then they're just big teddy bears. Um, and it will be also sextiling Neptune. This is talking about more about our dreams, our fantasies, what we really want, what really gets us going. And, and Neptune can have a lot of, it's not really up and downs like Uranus. It's more of like... Uh, I always think of it like a toilet bowl. Like, it's just spinning around constantly. It's just got a bunch of shit going on. Um, as the moon's in Taurus, it's going to be gr getting more grounded and getting more uh, invested in the beliefs of what you want as far as your spirituality, as far as your dreams, as far as what your fantasy life is. What And going back into Venus and retrograde, you know, like, if you're single right now, there's that person that you want is out there. They're alive right now, believe it or not. I know, it's fucking crazy. However, put yourself in that position where it's like, okay, I can get what I want. I can make shit real, and I can really get the dream and the life that I want to. Put that emotional involvement there this Thursday and Friday and believe it and you'll be so surprised on what can come. And then going into Friday, the moon will be in Gemini, sextiling Venus. This will be that, okay, let's look at this Venus retrograde in a more dynamic way. How am I putting myself out there? You know, how am I talking to people? What do I really want? You know, with Gemini, it's all about communication. It's all about the, it's all about logic as you know, the moon's been kind of moving through its thing. Now it's time to like look at stuff on paper, kind of like be able to logically understand it all. It's like, kind of like astrology. It's like, okay, okay, I get it. You know, I may be uh, like, I'm a Leo. Like, okay, I get it. I'm a Leo. I'm a fire sign. I'm fixed, all that kind of stuff. But you know, whatever. With the moon and Gemini, it's time to understand it all. It's like, oh, I'm a Leo and I got, you know, grand fire trying and blah, blah, blah. Like understand the specifics of it, understand the whole dynamics of it. And that's when you'll start to get where you want to be going. Um, it will be sextiling Venus. This is going to be looking at relationships and what you truly desire and want. This is going to money. This is going to relationships. This is going to your fun, your creativity, what you really enjoy. Um, look at things in the dynamic way. Put, look, look at things in, on paper and say, okay, you know, this is what I really want. This is what looks good. And have some fun with it. Be dynamic. And this is Gemini too. It's the twins. You got to look at things through hold through two different perspectives and it's not like a black or white like Pisces or Libra where it's like this is right and this is not this is fair and this is not Gemini is like I just need to look at two different pr perspectives so I understand it all um then Mercury will stop opposing uh, not opposing Saturn um Mercury will stop opposing Jupiter this is when communication with relationships especially with yourself to that internal dialogue we were talking about that's gonna free up that's gonna be super duper duper nice um and I'll also be moving into Taurus on Saturday. So this Friday and Saturday, as it lets go, just like I said, dude, ride this roller coaster, man. We're in a quite a little bit of a roller coaster, especially going into next week um, when Saturn goes retrograde and Mercury goes retrograde, which don't worry about it. That's It's, it's going to be fine. You're going to be okay. Um, yeah, Mercury will be moving into Taurus. The moon will, and Gemini will be trining Jupiter, squaring Neptune, and sextiling the sun. This is going to be, uh, what's the best way to look at it? It's like all these good things are happening. Then it's kind of like, uh, I don't really like this as it's squaring, um, Neptune. Don't get too down on yourself and don't get too deep with it. Like as the moon squares Neptune, it's going to be like, oh, my emotions are like everywhere, especially in Gemini. It's like, I got this idea and these things going on, but it's not really in alignment with my spirituality and this and that. Just go along with the flow. Don't resist it. And with this Gemini and Pisces square, you got to look at, you got to have the, uh, the balance between what is logical and what is deep, like what a deep belief that you have in it. Like, uh, that was a horrible way to put that. A, a better way would be Neptune and Pisces talking about your dreams, your illusions, your fantasies, your spirituality, and the moon and Gemini being your, you know, your emotions are very logical. You got to find the balance between, okay, what is logically correct to do? What is logically good to put my emotions and invest them in and what is um and what's really what my beliefs are what's really what do i what do i really want what's my what's my ultimate dream in my fantasy finding the balance between that and when i say dreams and fantasy i don't mean about like your whole life i mean sometimes i do however with this it's more of like your everyday stuff like okay what you know this isn't the way i wanted my day to look like be okay with it ride the flow ride the roller coaster because we're going into good times uh that's going to be on saturday and then venus will be at zero degrees aries going back into pisces 
Um, that's when next week's gonna start. It's gonna be on Saturday. Saturday this week, this next weekend is gonna be pretty big. However, if you want to set yourself up for this next weekend and this next week, use this week to your advantage. You know, get real with yourself. It's, we got a lot of good transits happening. Um, inspire yourself. Inspire other people, and put yourself first. Be that you know leader that you want to be. As the sun stops scoring Saturn, it's time to break free of all these restrictions and it's time to let loose. Um, so that's what I got for you guys this week. Thank you guys so much for watching all my videos. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos soon about more about the, the Zodiac and more about the houses and all that kind of stuff so people can have a better understanding of it. As well as um, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I, please follow me on Twitter. I love talking to everyone on Twitter. Um, Facebook, all that kind of good stuff. I'm working on a website right now too, so I'll let you guys know uh, when that's going to be up and running. And um, yeah, if you guys would like to book a reading with me too, I, uh, I'm going to be getting my price sheet up and my menu up on Instagram and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. Or if you'd like to book it through YouTube, um, please uh, f feel free to send me an email at whitelightastrology at gmail.com or message me on YouTube. I'm still figuring how that, out, how that works. However, um, it's a great week, guys. I'm sending you so much light. I'm sending you so much energy and love and abundance. And just ride the roller coaster, man. Have some fun. Get it's kind of like you know. Um, <laughs> I mean, you guys. I've already said it enough. Just have fun this week, guys. All right. Thank you so much.